Hey guys, what's going on? It's Lefty from 643 Productions back again with another gameplay commentary and the continuation of a series I started that I think a lot of people enjoyed and I enjoyed making it. So if you do indeed are enjoying this series and you want to see more, again, be sure to uh, show the like button, the rating button, the comments, a little love all around, loves all around, love of loves going all around. Everybody's happy. Everybody's awesome. But uh, this is my Humanity is Cool series. Now, for those of you that may be new to this channel, maybe new to this series, this is a series in which I just highlight things that I find cool about humanity. Because I am a cynic, I am a, well, I'm, I'm a realist, I'm skeptical, and I'm cynical all at the same time, usually about humanity. And, uh, and sometimes I admit I get a little down on humanity. I think it's deserved, I think it's real, and, uh, and I think it's, uh, it's very, very real in terms of uh, w what it aims to describe, but there there are also things that I think get lost in that. The cool things, things that you can't deny that are just like, wow, that's that's pretty damn cool. That humanity, th things that humanity has, things humanity has accomplished, things humanity is trying to accomplish. There are some really, really, I mean, for all the things that I say are wrong and bad about humanity, there's some really cool things going on. And this is a series aimed at highlighting some of those things because I feel they may otherwise be just kind of forgotten about and perhaps even taken for granted. And this is something, this episode is aimed at something that I think, uh, that I know people tend to take for granted and that's our brains that's our brains our brains the things that reside inside of our skull they take up a, a large amount of space inside our skull they operate and they are responsible for well a whole hell of a lot of the things that go on both inside of our body and and inside the brain itself it's it's such a cool organ the brain is the human brain i'm talking about i mean the brain in of itself it just in animals in general the the concept of a brain is pretty damn cool a centralized processor a, a, a fleshy processor that is that does the same things that we have constructed digitally with respect to computer processors and the human brain and i think this is something people take for granted i mean every single day of their lives the human brain is incredibly powerful. It is an incredibly powerful tool. Now, I don't mean this in the sense of the, the cliche you hear, the false cliche or uh, the false axiom that, uh, that humans only use 10% of their brains and things of that nature. I mean, you know, humans only use 10% or 15% of their potential. The, the number fluctuates. It's usually less than 50. Usually designed as a, as a motivation tool to say, hey, you're capable of so much more, et cetera. Well, and no, actually, our, our pretty much all of our brain is is used, and a lot of it is used for thinking. The very the the coolest thing. There's so many cool things the brain does. I mean, I'm having, I'm having trouble uh, just pinning down one cool thing. I mean, number one, the brain processes so much data going on around us, and we consciously do not think about it. When was the last time you thought about breathing? Right, that's a, that's a lot of that's a popular thing people like to point out. When was the last time you consciously thought about breathing? When was the last time? You don't have to tell yourself to breathe. I mean, sometimes I mean, you know, of course, there are extenuating circumstances at some points, but for most of the time, when you are going about your daily routine, your daily life, you don't think about breathing. Can you imagine what it would be like if? Every time your body required an influx of oxygen, you had to have an overt conscious thought. Imagine what that would be like. Try it for like a minute. Every time you feel the need to take a breath, you have to think, okay, inhale. And not only that, the brain controls all of the muscles that do all those things. Think about how complicated movements are from a muscular standpoint. The the muscles that need to contract and uh, the, the contract and expand and and do all these things in order to move the bones and the flesh and to move the weight that that our bodies that are inherent with our bodies. The brain controls all of that, and we don't even think about it. It just does. It's just, whoop, there it is. And the, the the amount of the really cool thing is when you think about all of the data that your brain filters out for you. I'll put it this way. Have you ever felt your clothes on you? Do you feel your clothes on you all the time? They're there. 
your closer, when you put on clothes, your clothes are always there. I mean, unless we're talking at the quantum level, but that's a that's a discussion. That's another video, quantum mechanics, which is holy God. But you don't feel your clothes. You, I mean, again, you think about it. Yes, you do. But normally, when you're going about your daily routine, you don't you don't really feel your clothes on top of you or, or uh, on your skin. But they are there, grating on your skin, tickling those nerves that are part of your skin, which is uh, again, I, I guess. A, Technically, it can be classified as an organ. Your your skin can, and they are they are constantly those nerves are constantly sending signals to your spinal cord, up your spinal cord to your brain, and your brain has to process all of that. But your brain, the the coolest part or one of the coolest things is that is that it knows it's a nah. That's not that's not really important. We don't need to we don't need to bother the conscious mind with that. Obviously, that's not really how it works. But just as a good uh, a good conceptualization of that is that is that there's the subconscious part that looks at the looks at the signal coming from your clothes all the time. And it just says, no, nah, it's not really that's not really necessary. We don't really need to need to bother the conscious mind with that. And these are all subconscious things. I mean, this video could be broken up into two parts: the subconscious and the conscious. Really, because there's so many cool things the brain does that we the, the power of this thing that we all have is just so immense and cool and really which is why i find stupidity from humans so offensive because we have such a powerful tool all of us do it is so incredibly powerful this tool that we all have i mean i've just outlined just a few of the things that are so monumental in terms of oh like what how is this how does this really how is how does this ever come about in terms of the randomness of the 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 primordial ooze that we all came from that how the, the path from the primordial ooze to having an organ that can sense all of the you know all of the signals coming in from clothes and decide man those aren't really important because we know what those are those are there all the time and those aren't really going to hurt us either way we don't really need to bother the conscious brain and to take over and say hey you need to pay attention to this stuff and on top of that and then and then finally we get to our consciousness the con- the construct in our brain that is ourselves which is a a just a fundamentally incredibly complicated topic that we still don't understand we still do not understand our own consciousness why we are conscious how we are conscious how we think how we store data how we recall data all those things we don't even understand it yet that is cool when you go when you go through all the things the brain does the brain is responsible for it is just such an incredibly cool thing that we as humans all have all of us have it right because when was the last time you met a person without a brain in the literal sense i mean the figurative sense yeah just look at youtube comments but in the literal sense nobody can function without a brain and pretty much all human brains pretty much are that powerful at least in the subconscious sense. And they all have the potential, for the most part, to be incredibly powerful analytical tools, analytical and processing tools. And that, I think, is something that, one thing that gets glossed over too much when talking, when even by myself to when talking about the pitfalls of humanity. That is something, although we, have, although we do not, we are not responsible for it, we have it, and it's pretty damn cool. But anyway, guys, that's my time. I got to get out of here. Thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Remember, likes, favorites, comments, and shares via Facebook and Twitter do help me out. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed. I'm out.